Hundreds of volunteers were up before the sun this morning to take part in a census for the city's homeless population. WLKY's Colin Mayfield has the story on this year's crucial count. Armed with flashlights, volunteers made their way around Louisville in the dark and rain Thursday morning to count the city's homeless. It's an important task with thousands, possibly millions of dollars on the line in terms of service needs for the next year. It happens nationally. Any community that receives HUD funding participates in a street count. Fanning out in teams across the city, areas are divided off and searched. We had some of the camps along River Road, and um, we found 10 people who were in tents. But organizer Susan Binford knows this would not be possible without the help of volunteers. Very first year, we had 55 volunteers. We had um, we had close to 300 sign up, and we had. Uh, 230 actually show up, which is the most we've ever had. I don't think anybody should not be without a home, especially on the amount of veterans that are out on the street. Want them to get as much funding as possible, and they need as many volunteers. With more than 8,600 people accessing services last year, the annual census population puts a hard figure on what's needed in our community for the homeless. Volunteer Bill Van Roy didn't see much on his stroll on Broadway from 10th to 18th Street. But learn the harsh reality of homeless life. They hide themselves well because um, they're either afraid of being moved on or um, harmed by somebody else, and they, they live in fear. But their work is not in vain as they look to find a solution to the homeless problem. Louisville's really learning from other communities and then ourselves how to provide good services and get people off the streets and into stable housing and help, help them stay there. Colin Mayfield, WLKY News. Last year during the count, 62 people were found sleeping outside in near zero temperatures. 1,600 were housed in shelters that night. The census results will be released this spring with the nonprofit coalition, but for the homeless.